Welcome back friends to another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Lids87 here and in today's guys I'm bringing you guys another global video. Another worth it series where I go over the pros and cons of said units to see if they are truly worth your tickets and or gems. And in this case we are going to be talking about Papa Limo and Seymour. Before I get into it though friends please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. The, the love and support is truly appreciated. Now. Another, we got another Batch Awakening uh, event going on, another raid at the moment. So we got two banners, and the first multi-draw is free for both of them. Good luck, guys. Good luck. It is live. Go go get your potentially free off banners. Um, anywho, so first banner, Quistas and Sid, with the third wheel being Kane, And the other banner is Seymour and Papalima, with the third wheel being Snow. For the Quistas and Sid banner, both of those EX weapons are returning, so we have seen them before. Seymour's EX weapon is returning and Papalimo's is the new EX weapon. So the first character that we're going to be talking about is Seymour, the Guado, Final Fantasy X. I don't like him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I don't like the guy, but I'm, I'm trying to put that aside and just judge him based on his kit. Anywho, but that, that aside. So pros about Seymour is he applies some debuffs. He's, he's equivalent to a magic Titus, right? Because Titus, he he he's an attacker and he also applies debuff. Same concept with Seymour. He's an attacking debuffer. So he he, he inflicts and brave down, attack down, max brave and defense down, and he also inflicts sap with his additional ability. Now the one main thing about Seymour's kit is that he will deal additional damage to debuff targets. So always make sure the enemy is debuffed because if not, then you won't be getting the full extent of Seymour's damage. And if the enemy is below 80% of their HP, his abilities, his chain spell and land some atrophy, will follow up with a chain spell animation. So, land some atrophy follows up with chain spell. Use chain spell follows up with chain spell. Even his EX ability, once it's fully maxed out, he follows up twice afterwards. And with his EX ability being at EX plus zero out of three, he will get an ability use after using his EX ability which is going to help him out with his longevity now there are, there are there are of course there are some cons with him so in order for seymour to be at his fullest potential the enemy has to be at at or below 80 percent for seymour to really start popping off for his full damage to be in there so during the start of the fight you might want to try to hold back on his abilities because you're not going to be getting the full damage you're not going to be getting the follow-up chain spells so to say so in that case, try to rely, he, at that point, you have to rely on your other units to bring the, the boss down to 80%. But once you reach that point, though, then Seymour starts popping off. Then he starts getting all that full, beautiful damage in. So Seymour can, can be good, but that that's one of the biggest cons, so to say, is that you have to bring the boss to 80% of the HP for him to start doing his follow-up damage. And uh, another con about him is uh, I, I guess this really depends on your team composition and the boss itself is that he has a lot of debuffs if you guys saw he has one two three he has four debuffs with his additional ability being five and that's just one more and the enemy's slots are full so if the enemy starts buffing themselves you're going to start fighting for those those debuff and buff slots especially if you happen to have like a, a taunter on the team uh, and that's just going to it's going to get crazy, so just that's something to keep in mind is that you're there's a good chance that you're going to be pushing buffs and debuffs off. I mean, pushing off debuffs is great, but you might be pushing off your own debuffs from the enemy. So just keep that in mind, friends, if you are going to be using Seymour. Now, the second character we're going to be talking about is Papa Limo. So, pros. He's got quite a bit of pros. I was like really looking at his kit, and I was like, gosh damn, it's so beautiful. So... The main, the main thing about Papa Lima is he, he can imperil both of his elements. With Astral Fire, he imperils fire. With Umbral Ice, he imperils ice. It's plain and simple. Now, with his EX weapon, after using his EX ability, his HP attack turns into something called Foul. I won't get into the details of that, but here's the main thing to take away from this. Is once you use Foul, there is no action delay. It does not increase turn count, and he will have a free ability use on the following turn. If you take his EX weapon to 2 out of 3, he will get a free skill, a free ability when the fight starts. So what you want to do is use his Astral Fire 
followed into Umbral Ice because after you use Astral Fire, his Umbral Ice turns into his plus version. You use Umbral Ice plus and he will get a magic attack of 20% for 8 turns too. So that'll just really help out in, with him dishing out damage. And at EX plus 3 out of 3, you want to take Papa to 3 out of 3. At EX plus 3 out of 3, no action delay does not increase, increase turn count. So with his EX plus at 3 out of 3 with Foul, right? So what you're going to do is use his EX ability, no action delay, free turn, or does not increase turn count, and then go right into Foul, which is an, another does not increase turn count, no action delay, followed into that free ability on essentially the third turn, but two of those turns are free. This guy can, during this point of, in time, he can really like unload on, on the enemy, so this is a big moment for him, uh, massive amounts of damage going towards the enemy. It's beautiful. It's great. And he, ha he has a really good bonus here for magic attackers. So when breaking target, attacking a broken target, he will raise mat or this bonus sphere will raise the user's magic attack by 15% for six turns. Anything that's 15% or higher, if it's, if it boosts magic or, or, or uh, physical attack, that's really good. And meeting the requirements, it's not complicated. Break the target or attack a broken target. Easy, very easy, really good, really good bonus sphere. Now, cons. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit tougher to find cons with, with Papa, so I, I just pick some stuff out. So if an enemy absorbs one of his elements, he has to heavily rely on the other, other element, which, I mean, I guess it's not really a con. It can't be a con, but that means you can still use him, right? So if fire is absorbed, you're gonna be relying mainly on Umbral Ice, so to say. Sure. And. And I guess another potential con is that he has no other special utility. Just He's just pure outright damage. So aside from inflicting uh, in perils with fire and ice, he doesn't have anything outside of this. So he is just pure damage. So if you need a pure damage or, hey, here you go. Happy shitting on the boss, so to say. All right, friends. So now we're at that point of the video. Are these units worth your tickets and gems? So the first banner with the quizzes and Sid... Only do the free multi draw. Don't don't go too crazy on this banner. Sure, Quistus can be helpful when it comes to ultimate trials. You know, with the delay, she's been the best uh, ultimate trial party. Well, except for RNA, but RNA takes forever. So Quistus, with the delays, with the Bray battery to the party, she has been very useful when farming ultimate trials. But this coming month, we are going to get another unit, General Leo, who, in my eyes, is uh, updated. Quistus and Quistus later on gets uh, uh, in the X plus on Trey's banner, which is a type zero character. And that's a really good banner to, to throw resources on. Sid, it's going to be quite a bit before he gets anything. Anything I believe it was like at Machina's uh, Lost Chapter. Sid does does get better, but it's going to be quite a bit. And Kane, Kane, Kane is Kane. So this, this banner, friends, just do the free multi-draw. Now this one, I'm actually, I'm extremely conflicted. Because at first I was like, no, uh, no, maybe don't go too crazy on this banner. But okay, so tickets, throw some tickets at it, right? If you, especially if you don't have Seymour's EX weapon, this is a great magic. This is a great magic banner, except for for snow. Snow doesn't count in this case, but it's it's a really good banner if you are in need of a magic attacker because both of them they're magic types uh, if you need a debuffer hey seymour is there for you he can also just shot damage papa limo in my eyes in my own personal opinion he is the winner on this banner he is the unit to go for now gems gems i would throw at this banner only if you're okay with seymour i know a lot of people are not really crazy about seymour can you make him work yes of course you can make a lot of the more updated units work if i mean if they're not considered the greatest you can't make them work with the proper team composition pair them up with someone who buffs him up who really buffs up his attack and just make sure that third unit is potentially a, an attacker to get the boss's hp to 80 percent and then seymour kicks off and make sure you don't bring any other type of debuffers papa limo like i said man he can really dish out the damage he can imperil his own element which in the current meta uh, this elemental and peril meta that we're kind of sort of in these units can if they can imperil if they can imperil their own element that's a good unit because you can pretty much bring them to any stage as long as that element is not absorbed even if their damage type is resisted magic papalimo can still be used now 
it's man like yesterday i was telling my people my people on the uh my viewers i was like no you shouldn't you shouldn't pity this banner but if you need a magic attacker papa limo i would say he is worth it i'm like reevaluating what i was telling my viewers last night like the more i i look into his kit the more i read his kit the more i like what he does so he is worth the pity if you guys need a magic attacker but also keep in mind of the upcoming banners in the upcoming month or two right so if you if there's no one really there that you want then this this is a good banner to go in on guys me i'm actually i did tickets on my on my uh stream i did 99 tickets i got seymour seymour's the x weapon but i'm seriously heavily considering going in for papa Limo just because i've always liked him during his 30 their 35 cp era i've always liked papa Limo. he's I, I don't know what it is about him but i just i just like him and i think i'm gonna go for him and if i do if i do i will make sure to record that video all right friends so that is it for this video friends hopefully i was able to help you reach a decision if you guys want to go in for Papalimo and or Seymour, again, it's not a bad banner, guys. Papalimo is worth the gems, but just make sure to look down the horizon to, to see if you, there's no upcoming units that you do want. All right, friends, so be sure to let me know down below in the comments since this event is live. Let me know how your free multi-draws went. Let me know if you did decide to use tickets. I did 99, got two Seymour EXs, but I might go in with gems for Papalimo. I will follow up with a video and let me know your overall thoughts about the units. All right, friends. So until next time, good luck and have a good one.